I'm working on mounting my bilge blowers. Um, so, like I mentioned before, I've got one that's going to vent out here under the under the tank, and the one on this side, and then there'll be one over there, and I'll show that here in a second. That will basically vent out uh, the engine uh, compartment. So, the way I'm building these, I'm going to mount these, is I've got this rubber, coiled up rubber, um, that I've got screwed to the stringer, and then I'm going to have, not these bolts, these are temporary, but these little bolts, I will bolt my blower up like that, and then I've got, um, I'll zip tie both ends to these blocks here. Uh, using these zip tie anchors or mounts, whatever you call them, like that. Um, and the reason I'm using these these uh, coiled up or rolled up rubber is for shock mounting, basically to keep the vibration of the blower fan from um, radiating through the stringer. So I'll go over to the other side here. Okay, so the other side, you can see I've got the other uh, shock mount, basically. I know I could buy shock mounts that probably do the same thing, but these I like will be, because um, it really isolates them. And sorry for all the stuff over there. But what I'm doing is I'm, gonna, I'm doing an airflow test, because this hose, so this blower will be mounted back there, and then the hose will go up um, and out the cowl on the deck there but this hose goes up and goes kind of under the stringer and around and remember the rear seat is will be here and then it goes squeezes under there and goes along under the stringer and then what i did is made it go around here because if i were to keep going on the stringer i'd have to cut a big hole out of my floor timber and i did not want to do that so what i did is i i cut a notch out of this see cut a notch out of out of this uh, frame and then kind of squish this down and then the flooring will basically go just over this then it goes up under the stringer and weaves and goes up over um, this other frame and floor timber and then it'll go around and remember the motor box will come down like this and then it'll go down and I'm, I want it to be up towards the front um, under the engine, um, but not down on the floor. It'll be up enough so it, if there is water, it won't suck up water. And that's what will vent out, because remember, there'll be a motor box here, and that'll vent this out. And I was concerned about if I was going to have enough airflow uh, for this and looking at kind of the standards and specs and and calculating the volume of this, what will be in the motor box and it's going to be roughly I mean the, the volume of this whole area is I forget what I rough calculated 32 cubic feet or something like that but then you've got the volume of the engine maybe it would not it might have been more than that but anyway but you got the volume of the engine in there too so I think I'm estimating estimating this actual volume in here will be 25 to 27 cubic feet and and then, so based on that, there's certain airflow you need. And uh, these vent, uh, when you run them, you're supposed to run them four minutes. And I think the volume of air that's in, like, your engine compartment is supposed to be replaced within that four-minute time frame. And so I'm like, okay, say 25 to 30 cubic feet, something like that, needs to be vented out within four minutes. So then I'm like, well, all right, so with this hose on here, I did a test yesterday, and with just the blower fan itself without it connected to this hose, when I, when I powered up, a lot of airflow, but then when I connected it to the hose, it seemed like it was a lot less airflow. So um, I'm like, well, I probably should test it. So what I did is, so this hose is creating a lot of resistance, basically, I've got a little resistance there because I smashed that down some and all these, um, you know, it's not smooth in the inside. It's got, basically that's coiled wire um, going around. So I said, well, let me take this. This is a 13 gallon trash bag. 
And uh, so I figured I'd power it up and just count how long it roughly takes to fill that. And then, and 13 gallons is two cubic feet, uh, pretty much. So it's roughly seven and a half uh, gallons per cubic foot. So I'll show you what this does. Okay, it's, the air is pretty much out of that trash bag. It's not the ideal, I gotta reach over here, but here we go. So I count about five seconds or a little less for it to fill up this uh, trash bag. So that tells me, say five seconds, so whatever that is, two and a half seconds per cubic feet, cubic foot. So I'm gonna be in good shape um, because if it's two, two cubic feet in five seconds, 20 cubic feet in 50 seconds and add some more, I mean, a little over a minute, it'll, it'll vent out that whole space. And I believe that is actually quite a bit more than what I need. So I'm glad about that. One thing of note, when I, I, I did a test with the bag just connected to this blower without it connected to the hose and it, it inflated this very quickly less than two seconds so there's quite a bit of restriction uh that a hose like this especially one this long you know it's quite a bit of hose um that this uh, puts on it but so it's something to keep in mind obviously when you when you buy one of these they're rated at a certain cfm it depends on the pressure and uh, so there should be a little chart that comes with it. Mine did. Mine came with one. But uh, anyway, I was glad to do a test. Anyway, I'm still going to be in good shape with um, you know, five seconds or less for two, per two cubic feet to vent, to vent this area out. So I've got the bilge blowers mounted now. And you can see where I've got them bolted to my homemade shock mounts and then also the tie wrap tie wraps on either side here so this is nice and secure so this this side the starboard side will vent out tank area like I mentioned and then this will go up and connect to the vent that'll be on the deck and then I've got the port side uh, done as well Oops. and uh, so that's what they look like